point, friends. So I'm currently about to make a crock pot meal. We, this is the day of the week where the girls have swim lessons and it's shortly after school. So by the time we get back from the swim lessons, they're hungry, they're tired. So we, we need to be eating right then. So we've designated this day as our crock pot meal day. So I'm trying to throw it in really fast because I have a meeting in like 30 minutes <laughs> and it's not here. So I'm gonna throw this in really fast. This is a recipe I found on Facebook. So I'll link the Facebook post. It looks super easy. I hope it's really good. Let me show you. All right, chicken breast in there. You pour in apparently a jar of tomato sauce. I got the Rayo's vodka sauce, I love vodka sauce. And then an entire jar of Alfredo sauce. Um, seems like a lot. You do add pasta towards the end to it. And so there's a couple of spices we're gonna add in as well. So it didn't say how much. So onion powder, stuck together, there we go. Um, so we're just gonna kind of put some onion powder in. I figure I can add more later if we need it. Garlic powder as well. That's pretty much it. I think salt and pepper, and then you let it cook for most of the day, and then we'll shred the chicken and add some pasta here later. So it is, I'm waiting on Pinocchio to finish going potty so I can leave. And really he's not going potty. He's just looking for chipmunks. <laughs> we leave in a couple days for our Disney trip. I haven't done any packing and preparation other than um, I did order some groceries that we'll bring with us like some snacks for our road trip because we are driving down it is a 14 hour drive so say a prayer that that goes well um, with the two and a six year old <laughs> but yeah so a part of this video is sponsored by Thrive Market I'll show you in just a little bit I did like I said get some food and snacks for the road trip from there but I need to get packing done in this video um, kind of share what we usually bring um, as a general rule we do my husband owns a travel agency that specializes in Disney it is people mover travel if you're looking for someone to book your trip for you for free they are amazing but so we know a lot about Disney we go a lot to Disney and then uh, we also have a Disney podcast which is called Disneyville so if you're into that it's all about the parks uh, we are so so loving doing that but I say all that to say we go a lot so I do kind of have a lot of things kind of unlock you know what I mean like I've, I've done this many times but it always looks a little different based on our kids ages and and what we're doing where we're staying things like that so I'll show you all of that in this vlog too if you are here for that kind of content but we're also just vlogging about our life over the next few days so whatever you're here for I'm glad you're here I said the magic word here he comes he said do you said treat okay come on let's get a treat all right, I'm back home. I just took the chicken out and shredded it. So that's gonna go back in. It smells really good so far. And then we need to add a box of pasta. And I think I'm gonna add some, um, since the pasta is going in here uncooked and it will finish cook or it will cook in here, I think I'm gonna add a little more liquid, maybe some like chicken broth or chicken stock. And then we have this, I completely forgot we've had and I kept meaning to use in some meals. So it's red lentil pasta. We're gonna, <laughs> it's an interesting color. It looks like very bizarre, like very orange mac and cheese. <laughs> so I'm just going to add, I don't know, half cup-ish, maybe a little bit more to this. And then we're going to mix it. And then I think it needs to cook for about another hour, which is perfect. So hopefully while we're at the swim lessons, this will be done when we get home. I hope it's good. <laughs> cheese, please. <laughs> Not my best uh, bowling job, but there we go. It looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, I have to say, it's actually better than I thought. I thought it'd be good. I feel like sometimes when recipes are too good to be true, they're just that and they're not actually tasty. This actually tastes pretty good. So I, I would make this again. Tyler, I'm excited for you to try it. Okay. Yeah. So it's the next day. Uh, cheers. Tyler and I recently, <laughs> you're going to be either impressed or guffawing. We recently switched our daily coffee to be half-calf. Like we completely mixed the beans <laughs> and literally have half regular and half decaf. And so we've been trying that the past few days and it's been interesting. Tyler yesterday was like, gosh, I don't know why I'm feeling so tired today. And I said, honey, <laughs> it's cause we switched to half-calf. <laughs> anyway, we're just trying it out because I've talked a lot about caffeine, but I do feel like it can affect me in certain ways when I've had too much. So I've found ways to lessen it, but I'm not giving it up completely, okay? I'm just not. So this has kind of been great because then I can enjoy a couple cups of coffee and it's just half the amount of caffeine, caffeine I was drinking. These are the important things we need to be talking about, okay? <laughs> so today is the day I'm gonna try to get some preliminary packing and stuff done 
and then hopefully kind of finishing up tomorrow. So today is Wednesday. We leave on Friday afternoon, like after school. So I have part of today, although I do need to work a bit, and then I have tomorrow, but I've got Sweet Felicity with me. So that always, you know, it's just how much will I get done is a big question mark. Anyway, and then we have a little bit of time on Friday. So one of the things since we are driving down, we were thinking about is like, okay, what snacks do we want to bring? Like <laughs> snacks are the number one thing to keep your children entertained in the car, period, point blank. Other than like watching a show, snacks are like neck and neck. So we want to make sure we had some good ones. So I just placed an order on Thrive Market, the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. We picked out a bunch of things that we figured the girls, we already know they love. A lot of them are quick, like grab and go separately wrapped things for the road trip. So a lot of this is going with us. And then a lot of it is staying here. You'll see like coffee beans and stuff. But Thrive Market, we love because we, you know, order groceries all the time. But Thrive Market makes it a little bit cheaper to order groceries, for example shipping is free over $49 plus they have a price match guarantee so if you see it lower elsewhere they will match it which I love I don't know that I've ever seen something cheaper elsewhere but it's delivered to your house there's no tipping that's the other thing like when I order groceries like elsewhere you have to tip <laughs> and so I mean you definitely should so in this case because it's being shipped from a regular mail carrier you don't have to tip and that can save you a lot of money especially if you're buying things like pantry staples baking stuff, snacks, all of that kind of thing. So I always save a good chunk of money in every order. I'll pop on the screen how much I saved on this one. So let me show you what we picked out. This was a doozy of an order. All right, my favorite road trip snack is Pringles, but these are better for you Pringles, you know, like slightly better ingredients, etc. So I love these Good Crisp brand potato chips. These are the barbecue though, when I was trying to think if we've ever tried it. So I'm excited to give these a whirl. I got a flavor I knew Tyler would like because he's a big fan of barbecue. So those, at least one of those will go with us. This is for work, okay. The late July Garden Ranch tortilla chips. These are going with me. I love these. I typically get the jalapeno lime ones. Is that what it is? And they're so good too, but these are. These are like Cool Ranch, you know? Mm. All right, so speaking of our half-calf situation, I got a decaf whole bean and, why did I shout that? I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> and regular calf whole bean. It can be really hard to find organic whole bean coffee, let alone finding organic whole bean decaf coffee. So very cool. Their coffee selection is incredible if you are a coffee lover. I mean, it really, really is. So we were also trying to swap out some of our uh, sauces for like cleaner versions. So this Noble Maid brand seems to be really good. We got the mild and the medium of the different buffalo sauces. Uh, we've had these before. I like the mild a lot. This is really good on cauliflower like buffalo cauliflower, but then I dip it in blue cheese dressing, so. <laughs> um, and then, I haven't tried this. This is the same brand, but it's their original barbecue sauce, but it has less sugar. We like to make that meal called Scoot, where it's like ground beef, barbecue sauce, and baked beans. We were like, can we make it with like something that has less sugar? So I'm excited to try that with this one. Okay, now we're getting into road trip heaven here. We've got the Annie snack variety pack. This has the two different kinds of crackers and the like sweet little buddy grams. So to be able to switch it up and they're all individually wrapped, which is going to be the name of the game for this trip. Um, we also got the heavenly hunk minis from well, the heavenly hunk brand. These are, these are a personal fave and I love that these are individually wrapped and I know the girls like those too. We're also gonna bring some of these applesauce pouches. We like the strawberry ones. They have probiotics in them too, and the girls like them. And then these chewy granola bars for, I would like to say it's for the girls, but it's for all of us. I might have to like take just a few of both of these because they're similar, you know what I mean? This is the apple cinnamon muffin and bread mix. So I wanna make some muffins with the girls. And I thought we do a lot of pumpkin stuff. It's kind of nice to do something slightly different like apple cinnamon. One of my faves, the Mexican shortbread cookies. I also like the like powdered sugar shortbread cookies from the same brand. These are an absolute favorite, favorite of mine. I also got more of the quinoa mix from Thrive Market. We love this. It's stuff you can microwave. It makes for a really quick lunch you have like leftover chicken, tofu, whatever. And then the Vienna chickpeas, this one's for Tyler. I like the ranch ones, he likes the Himalayan pink salt. So I got him a bag. This probably will go on the trip with us though because I do like it too. And it's, it's just one of those things that's actually pretty filling. It's got a lot of protein and fiber in it. And it's a slightly healthier snack than, you know, maybe other snacks we're bringing. 
We'll probably bring a couple of these, the Thrive Market beef sticks. We have so been loving these. Boom, who doesn't love a beef stick? And then we were also nearly out of the oatmeal we'll use to make like stovetop oatmeal when we're taking the time. These are the Bob's Red Mill organic rolled oats. These are great. We also use these for like little peanut butter protein balls we make from time to time. Uh, and it's just really good. These are our favorite and when we buy them, boy, we go through them so fast and I should probably start buying more of them. So these are the Kin Euphorics functional beverages. I've got the Kin Bloom kind, so it's four cans of that and then the Kin Spritz, which I don't think we've tried this one yet. So they are non-alcoholic, uh, caffeine free kind of, well, some of these have caffeine, but these don't. It's kind of meant to like be a calming drink. So it's got, this one has L-theanine, and then a couple of other things I'm not sure of. Oh, this one does have caffeine. Why do I always say they're caffeine free and then one of them always has caffeine? So this one has a little bit of caffeine, but it's just one of those things that's so nice if you're trying to drink less, like especially through the week to be able to have something you can sip on that still relaxes you, but it is alcohol free. I just think it's awesome. So we have been a huge fan of those. The Kin Bloom is definitely our favorite. I'm excited to try the spritz though. So a little story time. Someone I know was recently uh, told they're diabetic. And so they were kind of revamping what they're eating, really looking at ingredients, what's in them, it's, it's stuff like that. And I loved that on Thrive Market, I literally was showing them how well you can sort through it. So you could even sort them by like low glycemic, um, gluten-free, paleo, Whole30, low FODMAP, like they, you can genuinely sort it in so many different ways. It's like comical, but it is so amazing because if you're looking for certain types of things. I love that it makes it a little bit easier because they do sell a lot of things and it can be overwhelming, but if you filter it, you're really going to find the things that jive well with what you want and need. So right now, if you go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. So that alone is an amazing deal. It is an awesome time to join. It is an awesome time to shop. So I will have that link and information down in the description box and a pinned comment. Thank you so much Thrive Market for supporting my channel and sponsoring this part of the video. And the nice thing is now I've got snacks for the road covered and I didn't even have to go to the grocery store. Check, check that one off the list. Okay, so for me, the easiest way to start when I'm packing for a Disney trip with kids. So if you're new here, I think, I don't remember if I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my kids are two and six. I like to just start easy and say, okay, what can I get done ahead of time? That's really not going to be needed in the next couple of days. So for me, that's clothing for all of us. So I'm currently washing their clothes I've got here to put away. So I can pack their jammies and their outfits, especially since it's starting to cool down here anyway. A lot of the stuff we would wear in a warmer place like Disney, we're not needing at this point anyway. So it really does work out well. But plus there's also like, I got one new dress for each of them from Etsy and it is so cute. I'll have to show it to you, where is it? The other thing I was making sure to do is wash their like blanket they're gonna bring with them for the car ride. So I did that and that's just kind of nice to feel like you're starting the trip fresh since you know they're gonna get applesauce and cracker crumbs and water and all kinds of nonsense all over their blanket over the course of that week. Um, so it's just nice to have a fresh start. I also washed each of their favorite stuffed animals, which one of them needed it bad. <laughs> I had to watch that one twice through because I was like, this needs more. Like, this is not enough. <laughs> anyway, so blankets and stuffies. Uh, the other thing I do like to do ahead of time is go ahead and pack their little bit of toiletries. I used to bring a lot more for them. And of course, when they're really little babies, you just need more. But at two and a half, like the main things we need are toothpaste, toothbrush. And we do have extra ones. Like we just have a cheapy one we bring with us so like that one's already we can pack it ahead of time is what I'm trying to say I mean we just use the body wash and shampoo and stuff that's there but when she was really young I would bring like more of a gentle type thing and I might still like I usually have a leftover baby shampoo whatever that I'll throw in but at this point it's just not really necessary for her and then the obvious like diapers wipes a lot of that we will just order with our grocery order we'll order diapers and wipes so i'll bring one thing of wipes and i'll bring obviously enough diapers for the first like day and a half just in case 
but as a general rule, we usually just get them when we're there instead of having to pack them, especially if it's a time we're flying. Like that takes up such valuable space in your suitcase. And honestly, with us driving, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I guess we could just bring our own diapers. It might be one of those things that we just kind of assess the situation as I'm looking at the trunk. Like, do we have enough room to throw in like a thing of diapers? <laughs> and then like a thing of Aquaphor we usually bring for them. I feel like that's pretty much it. Maybe a little, I did last trip buy a little thing. Why am I telling you? I will show you. Hold on. <laughs> what is wrong with me? You think I'd never filmed like a packing video before? So I know some of you guys saw a few months ago, I cleaned out this closet over there and it, ha it houses a lot of our travel things. So now I've got this cute little travel box and this is where we keep things like maybe something I've purchased intentionally for a future trip. Um, something small. I'll put it in here. They're never really in that closet. This is our little thing of toiletries. I love this little toony pickle bottom thingy, um, but it has way more than what we need. However, like, yeah, this is what I would usually bring when she was a baby. Just like little things I would refill from time to time. But I also have this and I do use detangler, especially for the six year old's hair. So I might pour detangler in this and be able to have that. We also used, we had cleaned out and used a, one of Tyler's mouthwash things. And we've got like the kid's mouthwash in it. So that is nice. Um, the two year old doesn't use it, but the six year old does. Also another thing, I'll link any like specific products if you're curious about something. This little collapsible cup you can get on Amazon and it is so great for in the bath, A, just for them to play with, something to do, but it's what I use to kind of rinse the soap out of their hair. You know what I mean? The shampoo out of their hair. It's just one of those like little things that takes up no room, but you always end up needing it. Like you need something like that traveling with kids. So it is so awesome to have. Got a little thing of toothpaste, some like Clorox wipes, which these might be dried out. That might be something I need to get is some wet wipes at the store. We'll see. Generally, we're pretty good. I usually will bring like a thing of Tylenol, chewable Tylenol for the kids just in case we need it. That's pretty much that. Oh, we've got our little collapsible brush. So I guess it is a lot more than what I said, but that works out pretty well. I'll probably just leave all these in here. I might just go ahead and leave these in there and try to use them up on this trip the baby stuff. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to toss this in. I used to have a big, I probably still have it, but like a hanging bag for all of their stuff. And I'm like, they don't need that many things. And even this is too much. So this is what we're going to bring for that already packed. Some of my best recommendations for like little things to play with, whether it's on an airplane, on a road trip, or in a restaurant are as follows. <laughs> These little things I got in the party section of Target. I get some of my best ideas from Pixie Dusted Mom. I wanna give her a shout out because <laughs> I will just copy anything she does because she goes to Disney way more than we do and she knows so much um, and she travels with little kids all the time. So if you are looking for like a Disney, uh, traveling Disney with kids channel, her and Becca Hart. I actually take a lot of her ideas too, both of them. And I think they're friends in real life, which is really cool. <laughs> anyway, okay, on a tangent. I will link both their channels because they're both darling. These little things, I actually, it might've been Becca that I heard about these from. They're like little sand, but the sand is kind of like kinetic sand. And so it doesn't just get everywhere. It's super fun to play with. And then there's these little like things they can use to refill and make shapes. It came in like a pack of six for like a couple bucks. So I bought this a while ago. I've used a few on a trip. I've thrown one or two away after it just got gross. So I still have three of these. So I would highly recommend that. Little things of Play-Doh are great. Um, I always have some sort of thing. Probably don't need both of these, although they'll argue over them. So maybe I'll... <laughs> Anyway, something to color with, of course. And then you can buy packs on Amazon, you guys, of the smallest, like coloring books. Do I have any in here? Did I finally use them all up? I might have. Did I really? I'm like amazed with myself. Yeah, you can get packs of like 20 coloring books, like mermaids, outer space, pirates, whatever. And they take up literally no room. You have a ton of them. So I'll just bring a handful of those typically, although I think I might be out. Then again, you end up like throwing them away because especially with the two year old, she likes to color, but she's just scribbling at this point. So it's perfect, especially if you are really trying to conserve space. I'll link what I'm talking about below. I can't believe I've, they've got to be somewhere. I just don't know where. Um, I also, these little play packs are amazing. I usually get them in the Target dollar spot. Again, you can get multi packs of various ones on Amazon as well, but they just come with like a little coloring book, a sticker, some really crappy crayons. <laughs> 
This I got at the Dollar Tree and I hid it in here right away. I didn't let them see me buying it. This little tiny Etch-a-Sketch I thought might be fun for them, especially in the car. These are great, especially for the younger kids, the kind of like mess-free imagining things. I don't know, I'm showing you all of these, like my little stash, but I don't, I'm not, well, I say I'm not bringing all this. I guess we'll see. This, okay, so I went to Goodwill recently and I got a couple of books that I thought would be good. The kids ended up getting all of the books out and they're all strewn throughout, but this one I reserved. I'm like, we're gonna save this so it's fresh for the trip. These little look and find books. I got it for, did I really pay $3.99 for it? Jeez, I was thinking it was like $2. But you know, it's just those cute little look and finds. These are amazing for plane rides or car rides. These, okay, as well have been such a hit, especially in restaurants. I'll have like one or two of these in my uh, diaper bag at all times. Little packs of wiki sticks. So it comes with like a little thing they can make with these little bendable waxy colored sticks. It is just one of those things that again, takes up no room, it's super light, but to have on hand for those times is amazing. This is something I've actually repurchased because the girls loved it so much. It is this little thing where it's like you can wipe it clean with a baby wipe or with a wet paper towel, but it comes with all these little markers. It comes with like 15 markers, something crazy. And they can draw on these and it looks really, really cool and kind of neon, but then they can clean it off with a wet washcloth and start all over. It's just one of those little things, again, that is will eat up a lot of time and it's fun for the adults to play with too. <laughs> Plus you could use it for like tic-tac-toe or hangman or whatever you might be playing at a restaurant. These, uh, special shout out, entertained them. We were driving to like Michigan recently for a family thing. These entertained them each for like an hour. Uh, they're little magnet people <laughs> and you can like hang them. They can connect in various ways. It comes with like 10 of them. The only thing is they just, I feel like get gross because of just what they're made of. But I'm like, you know what? I can wash their hands. It's fine. I could probably like soak these just to wash them. I don't know though with the magnet. Oh, another thing. Okay. This is a special shout out. I did not mean to spend this long on this. I'm sorry. Hopefully this is what you're here for. <laughs> this little thing, I should probably charge it really entertained my two-year-old but i will say the six-year-old was really wanting to spend time with this which made me laugh they're all these word cards and it's this little tiny thing and let's see if it's still got battery hello nice to meet you let's play now right um so then you just put in the card hat and it just says what it is and you'd think like oh Shirt. that's kind of like boring but it's great for any age because there's a ton of them, first of all, a ton of them. And if they're learning what to call things when they're really young, that's great. If they're learning how to read or spell things, it's great. So I do feel like it can work for a variety of ages. I will say when I pulled this out at home, they didn't really care about it. But in the car, when I had a captive audience, they did. So take that for what it is, I don't know. But they liked it when they had to like it. <laughs> which is all that matters. Oh, another thing I like to bring to Disney is a snack bag type thing that we can hang on the stroller or carry around with us, whatever. Um, I'll probably bring it empty because I'll probably pack the snacks we're gonna bring like in a cooler or something. But it is really nice to have in the parks because they're just at ages where they don't eat a lot at restaurants, which is fine because then we save money, you know, it's one of those things. And just, they're just always snacking. So it's just nice to have a bag that's holding it all. And I love this one. So this is reminding me, let me get a snack bag out, I'm trying to decide what of this I want to bring. I mean, honestly, I'm probably going to get like a little basket to use in the car. I used to have one in the car and just put these items in it for easy access. But I would say probably most of these are going to go with because it's a long car ride. <laughs> And I'll probably, I know I bought like one or two, like I think I bought another play pack um, or two, maybe it was like inside out two or something like that. And then like, I think a little coloring book. So I'll add a few things to it. I definitely bring just a couple more books, especially books that play songs that we already have. And that should kind of round out the entertainment for the car. I'll charge like the tablet. Anyway, so I'm going to pack some other clothes and I'll, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Okie dokie. So I've got... Little Lissy's outfits set out. Um, some of these were gifts from family, so it's kind, of, it's kind of funny. I thought, oh, I don't know how much Disney stuff we have for her size right now, but I'm looking at it. I think half of these were gifts she was given from her Nana or from um, her aunt. So, uh, yeah, I think we're good. I have shorts with everything, but I'm also bringing, like, two pairs of pants and a sweater 
just in case like if it rains sometimes that makes it a little chillier etc but otherwise it's probably going to be hot um, and then I do have like a comfier outfit and then I just grabbed like two plain outfits to wear on the two travel days and then I always have like one extra outfit similar to this in the diaper bag just in case so we should be good to go for her all right part of the way through packing for the six-year-old Genevieve they, these dresses are matching these are the ones I mentioned I got on Etsy but anyway one thing I've been doing with their clothes that has made getting ready in the mornings uh so much easier is rolling up everything you need into one little convenient package so this has the dress undergarments socks and the shorts she'll wear underneath it all rolled up it works out so well especially like then if tyler's getting her dress or if i am it doesn't really matter just grab one little bundle it's good for the day we don't typically pick which things to wear on which day like i'll have a general vibe of like this is just a cute little animal print one from old navy she'll probably wear that in animal kingdom but as a general rule we don't do certain things unless we know we're trying to get a special photo or if there's like a day we're going to a character breakfast and we're like oh we want to wear this special dress or whatever but otherwise we just kind of pack general disney outfits and then on the day we kind of chat with them and decide what they want to wear so the nice thing about that is too when i'm packing the suitcase these just kind of go in and i'll show what it ends up looking like but these just kind of go in there like that it's easy to grab so even if you were only doing a few nights and you weren't like fully unpacking into like the drawers it's still really easy to see what you've got. So socks and stuff are in these shorts that I just folded halfway. And then I am going to try to do this one-handed. I will just literally, this is really hard to do one-handed, take it like that and then just roll it. I figure most of you guys knew what I meant, but just in case you wanted a little demonstration, there you go. Perfect. All right. So this is basically what it ends up looking like. I actually have these layered twice and then I'll use these to kind of batten down the hatches. So I've got one kid's there, other kid's there. Yay. Well, well, well. I have one tiny sip of cold coffee left, but I felt like I needed a coffee mug in my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and drink this last tiny... Look at how little is in here. <laughs> it's like nothing in there. Oh my god! But I'm going to go ahead and drink it. It's very cold. Okay. <laughs> Tyler's step it takes. <laughs> so I've been asked to show the shirts I'm bringing to Disney this time. First so of all, his collection is... Vast. It vast. It is a vast collection. Yeah. It, uh, it took years to accumulate these. And I have a whole stack here that I'm not taking. I have some already down there. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I, I love good Disney t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got my Epcot shirt here with all the flags, Mickey with all the flags. It's going to be a little bit chilly while we're there, so paging Mr. Morrow. This that is was one I got you. I would like to claim that that is one of my favorite shirts you it's own. It's so good, but it's long sleeve and it's black. So I don't wear it very often unless yeah. we're going sometime in the colder months. Uh, October, so Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And the back of this is sweet. It lights up. It's glow it. in the dark. It's so Gosh, that's awesome. And I, I never get a chance to wear front. it because we, I mean, we don't go down in October. Yeah. Okay. This is such a good one. Just a classic embroidered Mickey. And it's comfort colors, which is our favorite. And I just love, I love, I love a pocket on a shirt. Man, I live for a pocket on a shirt. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got that from my grandpa and it's just, it's so good. Okay. Patrick Warburton there. If anybody knows what I'm just talking about. Nice work. The, uh, Can you do sorry. it? Nice work, pal. Gosh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new one. Jessica just picked this one out for me. On it's Etsy. I'll so try to good. link it. Uh, it Man is. Kingdom, yeah. It it's, looks like an old ad from like 1992. Like in a newspaper, like old newsprint or something. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, love that one. This is the one of my absolute favorites. It's Mickey playing the piano. I am only half certain it's a men's shirt, but uh, I wear it anyway. <laughs> oh you, my gosh. We vlogged about it a while ago and I, it was in the women's section. Was and, it Uniqlo? Oh, no, no, Disney. It was, it was yeah. a Disney branded. Okay. It was in one store was in the men's section, and then like every other store was in the women's section. So I don't <laughs> oh, know. Well. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I wear it. It's great. It's Mickey playing the piano. This is so good. It's this embroidered one with all the, the park weenies on it. If you ever got rid of that, I would oh, snatch that from you so, so fast. Okay, so that's the t-shirt and sweatshirt collection. And then we have the my button downs. This is a new one. You just got this from Kohl's. Yeah. It was like on, was this, maybe this one wasn't on Clarence, but yeah. And that one is, that just makes me yeah. so happy. Um, and then I got a couple more here, one with all the Disney characters on it, one with the uh, Animal Kingdom, and then yes. park stuff. I think I got this one in Disney World. Yeah, these are some good ones you're bringing. You yeah. may think that's a lot of shirts for a week, but uh, you sweat through it or it rains, et cetera, et cetera. at least two shirts a day. Because you just have to change. Because, yeah. because we'll I mean, anyone during, that is has right. to change. We wear it during the first half of the day, and then we come back and nap and relax and whatever, and then I wear a different shirt in the evenings when we go back out. So yeah, just is what it is. Yep, but good choices, babe. And you got, ooh. Love, you're bringing your brightly colored. Oh, yeah. For okay, you need to put that, this. like, in a bag, dude. 
ever washed. I just, let me do my thing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, but this hat, Jessica just found this. Where'd you find this? I, I think it was American Eagle. American I was out Eagle. with my best friend, yeah. This is my favorite Disney hat I think I've ever owned. And it's just, it's you, a great one. You got it, you're like, I think you're going to like it. Dude, I love this hat. It is so, such a good hat. It is. It's great. Yay. Gosh, what you what the lesson here is I've got great taste for That's you. Really learning. <laughs> On behalf of you, I have great taste. All right. I am out and about. I we needed to just get all of those classic like things you do before a road trip things done. So gas tank is filled, check. Got some cash out from the ATM, check. Made a last minute return. Check. Well, it's not even last minute, it's just I've been waiting forever, so now it's last minute. <laughs> check. Um, got myself a Diet Dr. Pepper because I haven't had one in a long time. Check. Oh, Tyler needed, um, like mouthwash for the trip. So I was getting like that kind of thing. I also grabbed in the Halloween section, this little thing, like a bracelet making kit to do with Genevieve. Cause there's a lot of times when we're there that Felicity is napping, you know, for a couple of hours and she's just kind of like, you know, we'll watch TV together or whatever. But I thought this might be fun for us to be able to do together out in the main area of the cabin. So it was good. It didn't take very long heading back because Felicity's napping and um, Tyler's with her, but then he needs to go in to get some work done. So I'm going to head back and kind of trade him places for a bit. So always feels good to get those things done. The one big thing we still haven't done is get like the car, run the car through the car wash, uh, vacuum it out there. Uh, we really need to vacuum it out and kind of wipe down. Like we had wiped the inside of our windshield and you can see the wipes, you know what I mean? So we're like, all right, we need to like officially get that part clean too. So gonna get those things done, I think tomorrow. Oh, the other thing I got, I got a uh, like pound and a half of bologna, which is something that Tyler was saying, I need to turn the air on, I am sweating. They, I guess when they would go on road trips when they were younger would always make ham salad, but they use bologna for it. It's, listen, it's delicious. <laughs> is it healthy? No. Is it delicious? Yes. But they would make the ham salad slash bologna salad and they would have bologna salad or ham salad sandwiches on the road trip. So Tyler was really wanting to do that. So I got that so we can make it. And I boiled some eggs yesterday. I think it calls for like the bologna, boiled eggs, um, mayonnaise, dill pickles. It's really tasty, you guys. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so we're going to make that, I think, tonight or tomorrow, which will be so fun because I am a big fan of it, as you can tell. And I think that's just such a sweet tradition to carry on. We have four hours till we leave. <laughs> I got a bunch of work done this morning and now I'm in finishing packing mode. I absolutely must must finish this, obviously. Um, this is actually quite stressful for me, even though I know we're fine and like we're driving so we don't have to leave at a certain time, but we would like to because otherwise it's gonna it's just gonna push it later and later into the night that we actually get there once they're done with school. So I wanna show you the outfits and kind of what I do. Some of you guys already know my system and it is it looks chaotic, but I promise it works. So I literally just lay out possible outfit. There's some clean laundry to do. Um, I just lay out possible outfits and whittle it down from there. And then what I'll do is just take quick little photos of the outfits I've got. That way, like when I'm trying to figure out what outfit I want to wear on which day, usually that night when I'm in bed, I'll scroll through the photos and pick my outfit for the next day versus trying to plan for each day. I just don't roll that way. I, it's too much logistical pressure for me. So this, this works really well. So I've got a couple dressy options to think through. Um, I'm definitely bringing too many jean shorts and too many skirts, so probably going to narrow that down because a lot of them, like those shirts could match the white or the blue, you know what I mean? So going to whittle this down for sure. I also have a couple other shirts that I love that I probably will like wear one on the drive down now and the other be like my next day driving outfit in our overnight bag for the hotel stay. So I also recommend always a baseball cap because if it's a sunny day, it's nice to have to shield your face and like protect your hair, like your scalp from burning. But if it's a rainy day, it's nice because then if you're having a bad hair day, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I always recommend that. I've got my a swimsuit or two. I might just bring one. And then I've got some ears to go through as well. I tend to go for plain colored ones because they end up matching more and then I only bring like one or two pairs. So not sure which ones yet I'm going to bring, but I'm also bringing a pair of probably not going to bring both of these, a pair of joggers or leggings, and then one of these sweatshirts. Because again, I'm we're expecting some rain while we're there. So I'm also bringing my lightweight rain jacket too. So 
Should be good, I just need to whittle all this down. All right, the clothing portion of mine is packed. Now on to the rest of it. This is my toiletry bag that I love from Vera Bradley. I'm actually not gonna show you what's in it because I'm doing a separate video on this. If you are curious, it will be coming soon. Going through all the makeup I end up bringing and all the toiletries, just cause honestly, this video is already getting long. There's no way <laughs> I'm squeezing all of this into one, especially since we only have a few hours left. But I will give a special shout out to these little containers that are amazing for bringing, like if you want various foundations or whatever kinds of products and it takes up so little, such little room and they're so much lighter. So I love these. Also got my jewelry packed in here. I've got some of my Mickey ones I bought over the years that I always bring with me, always wear. These are more recent ones I bought and they have little tiny Mickeys on them. I got them at Disney, I wanna say on our last trip. But yeah, so I've got my jewelry in there. I've got a few necklaces there. I love this little thing. You, I mean, there's a million of these kinds available, but it's just nice. It doesn't take up a crazy amount of room, but I can still organize it in some fashion. You know what I mean? The rain jacket. I got it in the mail on Amazon yesterday because the one I have is really long and it's way bulkier and it's kind of sticky when it's hot and raining. So instead of a poncho, I finally, I don't know, this wasn't crazy expensive at all, especially compared to some other ones that were on Amazon, but it packs so tiny. Uh, it is super lightweight and thin, which is perfect for exactly this kind of thing. It's of course got a hood. It says it's waterproof. I will have to let you know because <laughs> undoubtedly we will get to use it. But I love that it also had zippered pockets. So like if I had my phone, I could zip it into there and I know it's hopefully not getting wet. And like I said, hopefully it won't be nearly as sweaty and sticky as some of the other ones I've tried. And uh, yeah, yay for finally having an actual teeny tiny packable lightweight rain jacket. Okay, so I just took a couple minutes to pop online. There are so many printable things you could make a little packet out of for your kids. So I actually ended up buying one or two on Etsy, I think, for a couple dollars and you download it right away and you can print it. So I was kind of able to pick and choose within the packet which ones to print that are appropriate for a kindergartner, you know, or a two-year-old. So I thought we could have a lot of fun with some of these, like counting the color cars, road trip I spy. But then I found some Disney-related ones that she might need a little help with, but I thought could be fun to do together in the car. And then I also found these I'm going to pack away because we won't need them until we're in the parks, but they have different bingo cards. Um, I thought it might be fun, like, if she gets a bingo by seeing these things in the parks, maybe we could go get, like, ice cream or, you know, something we were going to do anyway. But um, So there's still some more of these printing for various days. They also, there was a packet that had these. So for each park, a little scavenger hunt I thought could be fun, especially in the parks. Like Magic Kingdom, I feel like maybe not so much, but sometimes Epcot, parts of it can be daunting for a little kid until you're like at a ride or doing something that they enjoy. So having this that they can kind of check off uh, is kind of fun. I'm also printing some just coloring pages. There was one, I'll if I can find the link again, I will link it below. I'll try to remember to just send it to myself. Uh, that had like a bunch of Disney park specific coloring pages. So I'm printing out a packet for Genevieve, some of them for Felicity and I'm just gonna staple so they have, each have their own packet. And then I also printed a few for myself because there are times when we're in the hotel that I would love to sit and color with her. And so <laughs> figure this is so awesome and those were free. So I wanted to mention that um, whether you're going to Disney or not, but like any road trip, printing out things online, there's so many cool things out there. Most of them are free. So there you go. All right, we are packed up, ready to go. I have still gotta get like snack bag and cooler and we've still got like their toys that are gonna go in there. And then I know Tyler has some camera stuff that's also going, but I mean, whew, it is 3.35. We wanted to leave at 3.30. Not terrible. We'll probably actually leave like in the next 30 minutes. So I would call that a success. So I'm going to sign off here. Um, thanks for coming along this journey. I hope it was either enjoyable or perhaps helpful if you're having a road trip soon with kids, whether it's to Disney or elsewhere. Also, before signing off here, I just wanted to say we are vlogging this trip. You'll see it in a couple weeks-ish, um, and they will be on Tyler's channel. So we will link where our vlogs go, the playlist. So if you wanna check those out and come along with us on the trip, he's actually been vlogging, and I've also been vlogging with him, for the first vlog for that series. So if you want more content, definitely check that out. It'll be out in the next couple of weeks. I wanna thank Thrive Market, of course, for sponsoring a part of this video. Again, you can get 30% off your first order, plus a free gift worth up to $60 by going to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. So I will have the link and info down in the description box. Thank you to Thrive. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.